السلام عليكم ورحمه الله حاج محمد سباغ a community activist a community leader a man of faith a man of service and sincerity i know Haj muhammad for long time there was a time that he was uh, a big part of a uh, board of directors of islamic council wisdom but he's been everywhere in the community anytime and anywhere there was a need for light for leadership for activities for real work uh, for kids for families for community Haj Muhammad Sabah has been there uh, I recently heard that he is running also for the Board of Education in Dearborn Heights and uh, uh, that made us even more interested to hear his views and his ideas and his vision. Uh, I would like to take this opportunity and ask anybody else who is running for the Board of Education in Dearborn Heights, uh, members of our community, being Muslims or non-Muslims, you are welcome to uh, contact Islamic Council with them we like to hear your views, your opinions, and the way that you look at education and serving the families. So we like to hear also from you that you would come and you share uh, your information uh, with the community, bringing more enlightenment because election and voting uh, season is coming. And it's very important for the community to participate and to vote, 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 vote. That is really our uh, effective uh, weapon to weapon our wisdom uh, to make sure that our voice is heard. So I don't want to take too much time. We like to hear from Haj Muhammad Sabah, and we appreciate Haj Muhammad your your presence and. Uh, uh, your courage, your determination, your discipline, the way that you uh, decided to uh, take this challenge, this is really an opportunity for us and for community, and we are very grateful of your, your grace and your, uh, uh, your decision to, to run for education. So just tell, uh, share something about you, your family, yourself, uh, the history of your activities, the vision for the future, uh, certain services that we have been doing in the community, anything that you would uh, like to share with us and with the, with the people who uh, are watching this program at this time, we, we appreciate that. First of all, thank you for having me today. Um, it, it's the Crestwood School District in Dearborn Heights. Um, it's been a part of the Crestwood community for 15 years. My wife and I decided to make our home here after we moved from East Dearborn in 2005. I have four children in the school district. Um, I've been coaching football in the school mm. district for many, many years. So I've affected the lives of many, many young individuals in this community. Uh, it's, it's great when you see young men in their early 20s, mid 20s, running up you in the street and hugging you, yelling out for coach. But um, you know, my community activity has nothing has been nothing more than than me just giving back to this great community that's really helped me so much. Um, you and I met close to thirty years ago. Yes. And um, you know, at the end of the day, I've learned so much from community leaders like yourself. Communities aren't built by individuals; they're built through a collaboration of individuals. And you can stand on the sideline complaining and talking about things that need to be done. But eventually either you get in the game and help fix it or you continue to complain. I'm not a complainer. Um, you know, so, so many organizations that I've been involved in over the years, I've always had a purpose. Every organization that I've been involved with is more around giving back to communities around families. Um, most importantly, important including hype. I know that you are very busy with the youth and the hype. And so I'm also the chairman sport. of the board for hype athletics. Mm -hmm. Uh, I've been on the American Arab Chamber of Commerce for years, uh, trying to help families. 
Um, also, I, I serve on the, uh, the Urban League of Detroit and Southeast Michigan a board. I've been on many boards over the years. Um, it's just been a, it's been great to be able to give back. Um, I think I do it more so for selfish reasons. I feel good when I'm helping people. It's a good kind of selfishness. It is a good selfishness. <laughs> it is. My wife constantly tells me that. Um, but it's really about giving back. I don't expect anything in return. I never have. Uh, many of my friends have said to me, are you out of your mind? Why are you doing this? Where do you have the time with everything that you're doing? Um, but just like I told you earlier, things need to change. We need, we need to get into the 21st century. What is the role of Board of Education? The, the, the area that you are going to, you are interested to get involved. Absolutely. So let me just, let me just position with, uh, we have an administration, which mm -hmm. is led by Dr. Uh, Joe Musalam, Yusuf Musalam, um, who was brought on last year, and he's done a fantastic job. You know, the board's job is not to manage the day-to-day, -day, but to oversee the entire school district and the administration and ensure that things are moving in the right direction, it's more of a planning for long-term planning. Uh, having been here for 15 years, um, I've come to the conclusion that I need to get involved. You know, we have- Especially now that we are going through this crisis, the so, coronavirus and the uh, education job is very, very critical. And with the uh, online learning and uh, schooling distance, I think this is really a very, critical moment for Absolutely. education world and people like you of experience and exercise and determination. You know, I, I, I feel really horrible for children. I also feel horrible for the teachers. And you know, this is a tough position we're all in. Yeah. You know, children sitting in front of a computer to learn. Um, it's a challenge. It's a challenge That's for right. the student. It's a challenge for the parents. Parents, yeah. Um, you know, many parents are working from home because their children are home. And many of them tell me, you know, I'm on, I'm sitting next to my child the majority of the day because they need help. There's to manage, people. to monitor, to, uh, yeah, correct. to motivate. Correct. Right. It's you know, I recently I got into the, the habit of printing out the daily schedule and having them out so that I know as I work from home and my wife does things from home, we're trying to stay on top of it. So we're affected by it. Yeah, I think there there does need to be long, strong. Because sometimes the kids, instead of uh, when they have the computer, if they have privacy, so instead of listening to the teacher, they are playing game with the computer. You know, they forget some some kids. They may do that if there is no supervision of the parents. Really, the That's parents right. are part of this, you know, challenge now. Well, it's like I tell everybody, we weren't born like this. We were all yeah. children at one point, and we were yeah. trying to be, I don't want to call it deceitful. Smart. We were trying yes. to outsmart the adults, yeah. you know. That's okay. It's a part of the game. But at the end of the day, it's about the learning. It's about, did you learn at least one thing today that you can utilize to make yourself better tomorrow? And I think that's where we stand. Uh, and a big part of, of my push for the school board is that I just, I really want to see this school board in a great position, not in five years, mm -hmm. not in 10 years, but in 20 years. And I think it starts now. The planning doesn't start with the school board for just taking care of the next calendar year. That's something that was already done. We need to start looking forward. Um, Crestwood School District has some phenomenal students. We've had children go, you know, kids go to the Ivy League. We've got kids to go to U of M Ann Arbor, other top universities. The problem is the percentages. Mm -hmm. We need to get a larger percentage going to top universities or falling into careers that they choose. As you know, having counseled many families over the years. Universities are not for every single child, but every single child needs to find their way in this world. And that's where it starts. It starts with K through 12, right? Mm -hmm. You you build a skill set in that period in your life. And we've got to make sure we're positioning these kids to really take off as soon as they get through the system. They can't be pushed out. They've got to be taken through and, and, and we've got to teach them the road. We can't change the road for them. And I'm very glad, Haj Muhammad, that uh community members like yourself uh, uh, are getting involved because it's not only about knowledge and edu education, but also values. And faithful people like yourself that uh, appreciate education, but also faithful, uh, care for values, for, for honesty, for, for decency, for, for service. So it's very important that we raise our children in education system that not only they have knowledge, 
but they uh, are committed to certain values that they would use this knowledge to serve the country, to serve the community, to serve the humanity. Absolutely. Because it, knowledge, education is just like light, and you can, people can use it or abuse it. Absolutely. But it's important that they learn about all these sciences, Absolutely. but also the science of uh, civilization, the science of morality, and uh, only pe people who are faithful and dedicated, people of commitment, like yourself, you. uh, are taught and right for this position. Right people for right position. And uh, although we don't, uh, as a nonprofit organization, uh, are not, uh, you know, tell people to vote for this person or that person, but we share the information so uh, there would be awareness for people and, and people like said they come and they share the their vision with, with the community. But regardless, values matters, whether it's you or anybody else. Absolutely. When we deal with education, it's important that we raise the children that they have the light of science, but also the light of ethics and morality too. Yes. You know, in my in my day to day life. I've always preached to, to new professionals. You know, there's three letters you need to learn. It's HIP, honesty, integrity, and professionalism. Mm -hmm. uh, those three will carry you a long way. Mm -hmm. In my in my day-to-day -day life, it's faith, as you well know. And it's it's my faith for me. Everybody has their own faith, which right. I respect utterly right. to the utmost. Um, right. But at the end of the day, it's about people coming together to do the right things for others. You know, the moment that the you start worrying rule. about yourself. You know the golden rule that we believe, like, whether you're Muslim or Christian, Absolutely. Jewish or anyone, that we, bring, uh, you know, believe in the value that treat the other party the way that you like to be treated. Absolutely. You like to be respected, respect other people. Correct. You don't want to be hurt, don't hurt anybody. Correct. So the kids, they need to know these values from the beginning. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, it's hard, it, the, the school district work, the administration's work is really hard. You have to have the support of the parents. Mm -hmm. And the outreach that I would plan is, is really to get the parents more involved. We have many parents who are first generation here, um, or maybe they're immigrants to the country, and they need the support. You know, like myself, I'm an immigrant. I came here at the age of five. I went through different public schools. I wasn't born here. But I'm, I'm, I'm as proud as American as an American as a 10th generation American. You know, I love this You country. brought that American dream through, uh, through your knowledge, your activities, your, the, family, the family that raised you that way. So you could really uh, touch the American dreams through Absolutely. this experience Absolutely. of coming as an immigrant, but working hard, get education, get involved. This is really the result. I'm as proud of American as they come. And, you know, people that... Uh, that know what this country has offered its citizens for Offer so many Canadians, decades yes. and the centuries it's been in existence. Um, you can't help but appreciate being an American. You know, but at the end of the day, it's about giving back. This country is exactly. built on, on community. You know, regardless of the size of the community, whether it's a small town or whether it's a little small neighborhood within a town, right. the communities that really pick each other up are the ones that succeed the most as you've been preaching for years, right? Take care of one another. Make sure that the person next door to you is as well. Uh, I just want to make sure these children are well. I want to make sure they're prepared for the next ch challenge in life. Because as you know, life doesn't really start until you finish high school. The real challenges come through through university, through profession, through families, through teaching your children right from wrong. There's just so much more for these kids. We want to make sure we're putting them on the right track. And it's not about the faith, obviously. It's more about the education, teaching them how to... Values. Absolutely. Teaching them how to really critically think right. to get themselves in a position to succeed. Very good. Thank you, Haj Muhammad. We wish you the best. And uh, uh, God willing, with the light of leadership and uh, commitment of uh, activists like yourself, Thank you. we would uh, celebrate even a better future for our community, country, and for humanity. Because Inshallah. the bottom line is that regardless of our faith or traditions or culture or color or race or whatever, 
the the humanity is our common identity, uh, and and this is very important that the humanity with the with the conscience with the fitra, the way that God created us and designed us to uh, to be a person of consciousness, and and that is really the. Uh, the message that I know that people like you in the community carry not only in saying but in action. You've been doing this in, in your practice, you've been a person of contributions and I know the, the House of Israel know how your, uh, your commitment, your generosity, all the organization, whether religious or civic or secular, uh, you've been part of all this institutions that they are serving the community and we wish you the best uh, thank you you thank and you your family thank you so much god bless you god thank bless you, you too thank you, thank you.